Early voting is happening now for the New York primaries. Tonight, we're highlighting key races in southern Brooklyn. One Democrat and three Republicans are vying for District 47. All right, that district was recently redrawn, and the primary might end with two incumbents in the general election. Box Five's Morgan McKay joins us live in studio to introduce us to the people looking to win that seat. Morgan. Stephen Natasha, this district fell victim to redistricting. So Councilman Ari Kagan represents this district, but with redistricting, Councilman Justin Brandon will now also be running for this new District 47. But Kagan flipped from Democrat to Republican, so instead of a Democratic primary, the two could face off in a general election depending on what happens next week. Brandon is a chair of the powerful finance committee, so a lot of eyes are watching this race. The newly reshaped City Council District 47 in Brooklyn now includes Bay Ridge, Coney Island, and parts of Bath Beach. This new district could also now pit two incumbent council members against each other, depending on who wins this Republican primary. Councilman Ari Kagan switched from the Democratic Party to the Republican Party at the end of last year, and he says the main reason was because of how Democrats approach crime. I strongly believe the Democratic Party doesn't really uh, care about public safety. I strongly believe that Democrats are doing everything possible to make sure that New York City in particular is less safe every day. Kagan immigrated to New York with his family from Belarus in 1993. And for 21 years, Kagan hosted a Russian language radio and TV show. Republicans made some gains in southern Brooklyn last year, and now Kagan says he believes he will be able to ride this red wave through November. Every crime, every violation should, should have consequences, not like right now in New York City, by the way. If you're breaking the rules, if you break, you're getting violation, you have to be punished. Right now, everything goes in New York City. Like everybody can do whatever they want. Total chaos, in my opinion. There are two other candidates running for the Republican nomination. Anna Belfry Delfaus is a mother of three who was raised in the Brooklyn area and describes herself as a city public school teacher. No matter what neighborhood you're in in New York City, the issues go across the board. Belfry Delfaus agrees that the biggest issue facing this district is quality of life concerns. Everywhere you go, there's there's the smell of marijuana, and you know you want to take your kids to the park, and you can't because of because of that, and uh, needles everywhere, and it's just it's becoming a very unsafe environment. The other challenger is Avery Pereira, who taught as a special education teacher for several years. My mother was also a special ed teacher for many years as well. She passed away years ago, but I just wanted to follow in her legacy. Pereira also says one of the biggest issues facing the district is crime. And if elected, he would work to increase the number of officers patrolling the district. We have a plan to put in place to fully support our police, make sure they have all the resources and funding they need to um, make our community safe again. Now, each candidate has their share of controversy. Recently, the city's campaign finance board announced it's reviewing a complaint against Kagan, which alleges he has used his radio spot for free campaign advertisements. Kagan has denied these allegations. Kagan was also stripped of his committee chairmanship after switching parties. We asked Kagan how he can assure voters he can get the job done, even in the minority party. Nobody can stop me from going to any committee hearing. The most important for voters and for my uh, communities of Southern Brooklyn is to be represented by a person who cares about them, by elected officials uh, who, who uh, listen to them, uh, who knows that they're struggling with economy, with public safety, with quality of life. That's the most important for them not a party label. Belfury Delfaus is also facing some criticism after it came out that she is currently living on Staten Island. Although she says she also has a residence in Brooklyn and her kids go to school there. On top of that, a Daily News article accused her of embellishing her background, pointing out that she hasn't been paid as a public school teacher since 2015, despite tweets and interviews that seem to suggest that she was working as a teacher throughout the pandemic. Belfury Delfau says she is still on maternity leave. Oh, I consciously chose to stay home and, and raise my kids, and I've been attacked for that. And I was told I shouldn't call myself a teacher. If a lawyer retires, if a doctor retires, if a Marine retires, they will always be what they are. Pereira also faces somewhat similar questions over his role as a teacher, but says he has been teaching up until February when he then decided to quit to focus on his campaign. He also faces questions over a lack of experience. 
we've had the same politicians in power for so many years. We've had the same policies over and over again, and it's just not working. Now, there are a couple days of early voting left, and then the election day is this Tuesday. Steve and Natasha. All right, Morgan, thank you so much.